Hey guys, this is A-Step. I've been making videos like the one you're seeing right now, and people have been asking me how I make them. So I decided to make a quick tutorial so you can make your own video in this or a similar style. This is my setup. It doesn't look too professional, because it isn't, but it works. So I lay my phone on top of my window to record myself playing, and use that recording for the bottom videos of my covers. I put an extra book up there so I can make my phone lean over the edge a bit more to be almost straight above the piano. To generate the audio and the top video in which you can see the keys basically dropping down on your piano, you need an electric piano which is connected to your computer and a music program to record your playing. There are probably a hundred ways to do this and many different programs can be used. And trust me, I tried out a lot of programs that didn't work for me. So here are the programs that work for me and that I use now to make my videos. First program I use is Ableton. It records my playing digitally. That means it records the signal that the electric piano is sending to the computer while I play. It's rather expensive, but you can test it for free, although you cannot export or save anything in the trial version. The next program I use is Synthesia. It generates the top video from a file that you can export with Ableton. It costs around $30, but they also offer a free trial version. The Synthesia video creator exports the Synthesia video so you can use it for your own video. Unfortunately, it exports it to a file type that cannot be used with the video editing program I use. So I use a program called Free Video Converter to convert it to a normal movie file. As soon as I have all my raw files, I fit them together in Final Cut Pro. It's also pretty expensive, but they offer a free 30-day trial, which is pretty cool. As soon as I'm ready to play, I start the video recording on my phone, turn on my piano, connect it to the laptop, and start Ableton, which generates a new project automatically. Then I switch to this horizontal view, delete all of these lines except for one MIDI line. MIDI means Musical Instrument Digital Interface. You can check that out online to learn more about it. Then I'm going to drag a grand piano instrument from my sound rack onto this line. Then I start a new recording with a circle on the top and every time I hit a key on my piano, it gets recorded by Ableton. When I'm finished playing, I stop the recording with the same circle. When you're done recording, it should look something like this. Click on this bar and it will show you all the keys you recorded on the bottom. You can edit these, adjust the volume, delete or add keys if you want. Then you can go ahead and export the audio which you will be hearing in the finished video. I leave the settings as they are and then it will take a few minutes to export. And finally, also export the MIDI file. Now I'm going to open the MIDI file with Synthesia. Here I can choose the color I want and I will stick with yellow with this one. And this is how it will look at the end of the exporting process. Unfortunately at the moment Synthesia doesn't have the option to save the video directly as a movie file. Technically, you could just let Synthesia play the song and use a screen recorder to record the video. But the screen recorders I tried just didn't create the quality I was looking for. Usually the exported file had very few frames per second, and it's very important to me that the top part is as fluent as possible. That's why I will show you my way to get a quality video from Synthesia. First I open Synthesia Video Creator and choose the MIDI file that we opened and looked at in Synthesia a few moments ago. And this is going to create a video based on the MIDI file with the color that has been selected in Synthesia. The output format is WebM. I will go with 720p because the data sometimes doesn't export properly with the higher definition. And 720p is good enough for this part of the video. In the options I will delete the Synthesia outro message and then I'll export the video. Then I start the free video converter, drag and drop the WebM file into it, and change the settings to Apple TV 1080p. Then I go to the additional settings, which I've preset as you can see on the screen, and then I convert the video. If the converted video comes out messed up, go to the settings again and try to lower the frame rate or the size, and then give it another shot. Finally, all the files are ready, so I'm going to open Final Cut Pro and start with the fun part of this video making. I start a new project and drag and drop the first part of the video into the program. 
If I showed you every single detail I do in Final Cut Pro, this tutorial would take a bit too long for my taste. So I'm just going to stick with the basics. And if you have any questions specifically, just post them down in the comments. For the time sake of this video, I saved some presets. So if it seems like everything is going super quick, it's just because of those presets. And obviously the first time you're going to have to do all those things manually. To create the effect that only my hands and the piano are visible in the bottom part of the video, I put some dark things beneath me and the piano when I was recording. And now I can go to the color settings of this video and lower the brightness a little bit. Then I go to the transformation of the video where I can move it to the left, to the right, up or down, give it a rotation or make it smaller or bigger. The third and final thing I'm going to do is distort the video a little bit so the keys are vertically aligned. Then I import the Synthesia video, move it up with the transformation tool and crop it with the crop tool and then just align it with the bottom video and lower the brightness as I did in the bottom video, add my logo and finally export the project so I can upload the generated video to YouTube or other platforms. I leave the settings as they are, save the video in the preferred location and wait around three to five minutes depending on the speed of the computer and bam, there we go. So that's all for my first ever tutorial. I hope you could get some value out of it. Post your ideas for improvements and also questions right here in the comments so we can exchange information and learn from each other. And please send me your covers in this style. I'll be happy to watch them. And check out my Instagram or Facebook on which I post my piano playing progress. Thanks so much for your support. Thanks so much for watching. Yours truly, A-Step.